This is Javier Arau with New York Jazz Academy, and we're going to continue looking at the, d the use of the diminished scale over a 251. Here what we have is an example of a bop line that uses the diminished scale purely by step. We're going to start with a G. Now this is the D diminished scale, except we're starting on G, and we're going to descend all the way down to G an octave lower. Let's give it a listen. So you can hear how nicely uh, both parts of the diminished scale sounded as we moved from D minor to a G7 and then finally resolved on C major 7. We're going to flesh out this example. Note that the parts, the two notes in brackets here and here are the exact same notes. So really all we're doing in this next example is adding in some notes in between the bracketed notes on both um, the D minor 7 and on the G7. Let's give it a listen. Next what we're going to do is do the exact same line but this time change the rhythm a bit and it's just going to have a bit more of a lilt, some, some more accent and syncopation to it. Let's give it a listen. Now I don't bring up two versions of it to indicate that one is better than the other. It's not about that. Um, it's just to um, show you, you do have options rhythmically while improvising. And the key word here is really improvising. Um, so ultimately, it's not just a, about a series of regurgitated licks or anything like that. But learning some of this vocabulary will certainly help get you going so you develop real fluency um, using the diminished scale over 251. I've got one more example. This one starts off in D minor using the D Dorian minor scale and then moves into the diminished scale on uh, the G7. 